everybody. Um, as Max said, my name is David Branscombe, um, Chief Commercial Officer at uh, Rebel Mining. I um, want to say thank you to the Mining Disrupt crew for being here, uh, all this hard work. Um, it's been a really good first day. Looking forward to an even better one tomorrow. So, um, the uh, Before I get into this, uh, before I talk about trustless mining, I want to talk about you know who Rebel is. Um, we're essentially uh, experienced professionals. Uh, we have about uh, 100 combined years of success in multiple ver verticals across multiple industries. Um, we have uh, one of our principal partners was actually served in the White House. He was the uh, scheduling secretary for the president. Um, our in-house counsel uh, served with the Department of Energy for about a decade. And uh, then as a lobbyist in D.C. during both, uh, both Bush and Clinton administrations, um, our dedicated construction team has over 25 years of uh, experience construction management. They built all types of projects, not just in the U.S., but all over the world. Um, so what we've tried to do is put together a uh, world-class development and operations team, um, experts in real estate, power, and construction, and we pride ourselves on being knowledgeable, um, knowledgeable, capable, and flexible. So the question is, why are we here, right? Um, the hosting industry obviously has some challenges. Um, it's been kind of a difficult uh, bear market. There's a lack of transparency in a lot of the hosting uh, process. Uh, some misleading and false uh, situations. We all know kind of what the, the good and the bad that are involved, and then uh, false expectations and um, mismanagement. We, um, let's see, there we go. So today, the real question, what I want to talk to you about is trust. Um, trust is, it's a solid word we think of as a positive, but um, some things are worth that trust, but a lot, some things are not. It uh, can be a bit of a double-edged sword. Um, when we, uh, it can be negative, it comes with a lot of risk. So giving someone trust means you're handing over control. Um, you are, it can cost you time, it can cost you money, uh, stress, and putting trust in something can limit your options and your opportunities. Um, these older systems, those ways of doing business and doing things, um, they've kind of failed us, right? That's kind of one of the reasons why we're here. Um, that trust is broken and we get apologies and we get um, promises, but to fix it, you always end up having to give up more control, place more, they just say, trust us again, um, and then they fail again, and then that cycle just, you know, continues. So one of the reasons we're here is because about 15 years ago, uh, someone proposed a fix for a broken system that removes trust, and at Rebel, we believe that broken systems need to be sometimes not just fixed, but also replaced. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's actually in our name, right? It's both a noun and a verb, not just a rebel, but to rebel. And we believe that everyone deserves uh, certain rights, values, opportunities, uh, security, privacy. Uh, in a word, you deserve the freedom to decide uh, how and when you operate. And uh, we believe that, we believe in the Bitcoin network, right? We believe the more secure and more secure economic future, not just for us, but for future generations. Sorry, Sorry I'm behind there. There we go. Um, and then because of that, we also believe that, um, you know, you deserve every opportunity to mine efficiently and successfully, uh, regardless of the situation. So, um, what we offer, what we actually do, what we actually do is create a transparent and open experience, laying cards on the table, showing you this is what our value is, this is why we're different. Uh, we bring knowledge, experience, and most importantly, I think flexibility for whatever your scale, whatever your process is. Uh, we provide as little or as much as you need. So let's kind of dig into that just a little bit. What we try to do is put our client's needs first. We allow the client to hold a power agreement, regardless of whether it's a lease or they own the site. It's up to them. 
We allow the client to own or not own the infrastructure. We can do that or you can do that. Uh, we've got options for both. We allow the clients to choose their operations. We don't have to operate. In fact, you can use us, you can bring in your own, you can contract it out to someone else, whatever you feel. We don't care. Uh, allow the client to manage power and curtailment, demand response. Whatever the biggest disconnect I think here in this industry between host and miner is how to manage that power. Margins are difficult to, uh, to manage, so how do you do that? Well, there, it seems that they're constantly at odds. So what are the benefits, right? Well, very clearly you are in control regardless of what your scale is. Uh, you decide when you mine and when you curtail based on your energy and your strategy. Uh, you own all the assets if you want and have all the tax benefits that come with that. Um, if we buy them for you, we get the tax benefits, right? That's how that works. You lock in a lower price to maximize long-term viability through the halving. This one is crucial, right? We're talking about a 25 to 35% reduction in your overall power costs. That's just year one, and then it can actually get better down the road, right? Um, you own that PPA. That also means what we're trying to do here when I say trustless mining is take out the risk, right? Um, when you own the PPA, there's no risk that money's going to be mismanaged, right? You're actually paying directly to the power company. And if there is a long-term lease um, payment structure, the power company will actually pay us, right? So as long as you pay the power company, that power stays on. You don't have to worry about a third party, trusting a third party. If you own the equipment, you don't have to worry about liens. You know where everything stands on that um, or other party financing. And when you work with us, we can actually, let's say you don't want to actually own it, we can still use our equipment as collateral to just guarantee uh, your ability to continue operating on that site. And basically what we're trying to do with all of this is create additional options. Um, use our operations, another contractor or your own operations, we'll even train them for you, right? It's not a problem. Um, so what do we actually do? Yes, full service management, dedicated and experienced staff, um, an operations team, uh, secure reliable sites, 24-7 monitoring and security systems, 95% uptime. Um, to give you a little bit of background, our, our CTO comes with 15 years of experience designing and managing data centers and secure networks. Uh, we manage these sites with that 95%, but that does depend on what your strategy is. If you're willing to save some money uh, by having a, pulling that uptime down a little bit, welcome to do that. Uh, to give you an idea of our speed, our last eight megawatts of S19s were tested and deployed in 72 hours. It's about 2,400 miners. Um, we have our, this is our typical industry option available, two months deposit, you know, first month prepaid, credits and debits, all of that kind of good stuff. Nothing super unique really there, uh, but that is a full service opportunity. Uh, de site development. This is really kind of where we shine. Uh, developing, developing a site's difficult no matter how often you've done it. Um, something just always comes up. So what we can be is a partner uh, to streamline that process. Uh, we move very fast. Um, our sister company is a dedicated construction management team. 25 years experience. Uh, our last eight megawatt site went up from bare ground to power in eight weeks. That was, it was nothing there other than um, a signed lease at that point. Um, we can fully bond a site to make sure everything's covered. You know, you're covered no matter uh, what that involvement is. Um, and we all know that, you know, these lost time, right? Every single day is a lost opportunity uh, with lost revenue. So, and it's hard to know exactly how much it costs us sometimes. Uh, right now, current Bitcoin price here, I mean, you can lose a couple hundred thousand dollars a month per megawatt, right? Just so 30, 90 days can cost you quite a bit. Um, we have access to 100 megawatts of sites with load studies completed and FEAs in hand. If you're not familiar with Texas and FEAs facility extension agreement, that just says this is what it's going to cost. and This is the time frame to actually get up and running. Um, we have an additional 100 megawatts available coming in the next nine months. These are Texas sites, reliable power, good cost. Um, lots of strategies to, to get you through the having and make sure that you're um, 
secure. Um, and these sites range from 8 to 24 megawatts, but we have a, do have a few larger, and some of these sites can actually expand pretty quickly and easily. So long or short-term leases, there's two real ways to kind of take advantage of this. Um, or you can buy the FEA from us at a premium to decrease your overall OPEX, right? Whatever your cost would be to lease the site from us, we just knock that down about to 60%, and you can buy it and have that lease uh, set good to go. Uh, it's your site. Do what you want with it. So you can own as much of the site and the power agreement as you would like. So how, how are we different? We allow the client to control every aspect of the actual operation. We remove as much risk as possible for both parties. And then we create open and transparent agreements so everyone knows their responsibilities. There's no disagreements down the road, right? So Rebel Mining, what we're promoting is being trustless, transparent, and scalable. Thank you very much. Ten minutes on the dot. You're welcome.